ομάδα του Μπάτλερ. Το καλοκαίρι του 2011 το NBA για τέταρτη και τελευταία φορά κατέβασε ρολά λόγω του lockout με αποτέλεσμα αρκετοί ρούκης να αναζητήσουν την τύχη τους μακριά από τις Ηνωμένες Πολιτείες της Αμερικής βάζοντας πάγο για λίγο στο όνειρό τους ψάχνοντας το πρώτο τους επαγγελματικό συμβόλαιο. Ανάμεσά τους και ο Τζον Ντίπλερ που είχε επιλεγεί στο νούμερο 51 του draft από το Portland. Ένας πραγματικός δολοφόνος που είχε δείξει από τα πρώτα του χρόνια στο Ohio State ότι η επαφή του με τον αντίπαλο καλάθι θα του πρόσφερε μια καλή καριέρα, όπως και έγινε. Πλέον ο Τζον Ντίπλερ εργάζεται για το Πανεπιστήμιο του Μπάτλερ, το οποίο επισκέφτηκε την Αθήνα για μια σειρά από φιλικέ αναμετρήσεις με τον πρώην παίκτη του Πανιωνίου, να μην χάνει την ευκαιρία να περάσει μια βόλτα από την αγαπημένη του Νέα Σμύρνη. Ο Θαντ Μάτα είναι ένα τρίλο του κολεγιακού μπάσκετ αλλά και του Ohio State από το οποίο αποφύτησε ο Ντίμπλερ. Ο σπουδαίο coach μετά από μια πενταετία μακριά από του πάγκου αποφάσισε να επιστρέψει στην ενεργό δράση και να κάτσει για δεύτερη φορά στον πάγκο του Μπάτλερ με τον Τζον Ντίμπλερ να βρίσκει εκεί την επόμενη του δουλειά. Played for Coach Mata in college for four years, and uh, when he took the job, he called me and asked if I wanted to work for him. And for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, you know, his family is very close to my family, so I'm excited that he's that he's coaching again, and I'm excited to work for him and especially work at Butler. Do you remember uh, the, your time in Panionios? Oh, absolutely. I was just walking around this Mirni uh, yesterday, um, seeing the old apartment, the city center. So it was great. That was a great, great first year for myself and. And from my wife overseas, and from a playing standpoint, to uh, to play for Coach Barzokas and, and the teammates that I had was a great experience. Ο Γιώργος Μπαρτζόκας έψαχνε διακαώς έναν σουτέρ, κάποιον που να μην συγχωρεί την άμυνα αν το άφηνε ελάχιστο στο χώρο. Ο Τζον Ντίμπλερ είχε μόλι αποφυτίσει από το Ohio State και ο Έλληνα προπονητή τον έπεισε να υπογράψει τον Πανιόνιο. That year, you know, the Greek League, with, with how good the league is, how good the players are, I think uh, that really helped me get my career started over here and helped me develop as a player. And, and playing for Coach Barzokas, um, you know, he's great. He helped me a lot individually and as a team, we had a very successful season. I'm, I'm happy and I think he got Coach of the Year this past year. In Euroleague, right? Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so he deserves it. He's a great, great person off the court and on the court. And I think uh, how he connects with his players is is key. My first year in Greece with Barzokas was Barzokas was great. Um, I'm sure he probably got a little frustrated with me at times as I was I was a rookie. So, um, but I, I learned so much from him. So much from him. Um, it was just an awesome experience. I'm, I'm beyond grateful. For my first year to be able to play here in Athens with a club like Panionios and play for Barzokas. Όσα έκανε ο Ντίπλε στο ελληνικό πρωτάθλημα, τον έβαλαν στην καρδιά των φίλων του Πανιωνίου. Ο ίδιο ποτέ δεν ξέχασε την πρώτη του επαγγελματική ομάδα, όπω και του συμπέκτε του. I saw Alex Stevenson, who, pl- who played for us uh, when I was working with the Hornets last year. He was with the Timberwolves, but uh, Big Z is uh, someone who played at Ohio State with us, so to get to see him again is awesome. But yeah, I mean, Vlado, I was messaging with him and some other guys, Mario Batista. Uh, we were out to dinner last night messaging with him, so um, we got along really well in that team in Panionos, and I think that was important for our success. Την αμέσω επόμενη σεζόν, η οικονομικά ισχυρή Καρσίγιαγα του πολλαπλασία στην αμοιβή του και από τη Νέα Σμύρνη κατέληξε στη Σμύρνη για μια τριετία. I was lucky, man. I was I was very blessed to be able to play where I played. Um, I played in great cities, played for some great clubs, met some amazing people, and I think that was that was the best part about playing overseas is the people that I got to meet, the fr- the friends, people that I got to meet, the friends that I that I've made and that I've kept in contact with throughout throughout the years. Το τουρκικό πρωτάθλημα τον κράτησε για μία επταετία. Κατέκτησε το πρωτάθλημα και το κύπελο με τη σπουδαία Καρσίγια κατ' ουφού Ξαρίτσα. Ενώ έκανε και το επόμενο βήμα με τρει συνεχόμενε σεζόν στην Ευρωλίγκα με τι Ανατολού Εφέ, Γαλατά Σαράκη και Νταρουσάφακα. I mean, at the time, the league was was very good. I think uh, it was probably one of the top leagues in Europe with you know the amount of Euro League teams that were playing at the time and the Euro Cup and then Euro Challenge or not Euro Challenge, excuse me, uh, Champions League started. Um, But I had I had pretty good success there, and I think uh, you know, I played for three straight years for Ufuk Sarica, and um, then went and played again for him in Besiktas. And I think uh, just establishing myself there was important, and that allowed me to continue to get jobs there. 
ολοκλήρωσε την επαγγελματική του καριέρα στη Χάπολ Τελαβίβ τη σεζόν 2021 και αμέσω έζησε το όνειρο του NBA στην ομάδα του Μάικλ Τζόρνταν, έχοντα στα πόδια του το λαμέλο Μπολ, που μόνο καλά λόγια έχει να πει για αυτόν τον Τζον Τίμπλερ. He's awesome. He's an awesome guy. He's very talented. I think all the guys on our team were great guys. We had a very, very good year making the play in, and we were a young team. But uh, that experience for me was great. I got to learn a lot, and that was my first time being in the NBA. So to see that side of it was awesome. Ο Ντίμπλερ ήταν από του παίχτε που είχαν συνεργαστεί με του κορυφαίου προπονητέ του Ευρωπαϊκού Μπάσκετ. Ο Ντούσαν Ιβκοβιτ τον είχε ξεχωρίσει μετά τι εξαιρετικέ του εμφανίσει στην Καρσίδιακα και του έδωσε την ευκαιρία να αγωνιστεί στην Ευρωλίγκα για πρώτη φορά. I mean, honestly, the 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 one thing that really sticks out in my mind about Duda um, was everyone. You know, obviously, you know it's very tragic that he passed away, but everyone thinks of him as the basketball coach and the success he had because he's arguably one of the most successful coaches in European history. Um, but the one thing that sticks out in my mind was just how he was off the court. You know, people usually only see him on the court, but for him. To uh, you know, when we went to Serbia, he brought everyone to his house, and we had a big dinner. And and especially for the foreign guys, you know, he would always ask us when it was our holidays, like, hey, you know, if whether it was Thanksgiving, Christmas, hey, what what do you want? To, what time do you want to practice today? I know it's a holiday. Um, would you like to practice in the morning? You know, I don't know if you guys would like to eat. And to me, like those things go beyond basketball. Just for him to have that respect for us and and ask us that, because you know, not every coach would probably do that. Um, so that's one thing that sticks out in my mind. About Ivkovic. 